this is going to be epic. The Victorian high country trip of a lifetime continues as Rick, Jono and their mates visit remote Wanangatta Station, tackle some seriously steep tracks and finally make their way to the famous Dargo pub. All off the grid and we are going to have a great time, folks. It is going to be awesome. With Lovick's Hut ticked off the list, the team now have some seriously rough and windy terrain in store. Sent back out of Lovick's hut, uh, the camp we were at last night, and the descent, heaps of switchbacks, heaps of rocky bits on the track, so it's very slow and windy. Um, yeah, but good, interesting track, different to what we've had on the first few days, that's for sure. Switchbacks, some of them are very tight, so we had to really uh, watch what you're doing because there's big drop offs one side or the other. Very tight curve, so you get around that. You really had to concentrate a lot in the trucks, but what a good experience the high country's given us. go from one extreme to the other you've got the really high country on one side and then you come down into a river crossing beautiful tree ferns waterfalls really nice nice black snake He's pretty healthy black snake almost ran over him but uh, just caught him out of the corner of my eye so yeah pulled up he yeah just cruised on into the scrub again Over here, yep. Want to get it back? Yeah, want to get it. Sounds like a plan. Eventually, make your way to Dargo. Just come up past a uh, quite a few mountains and hills. Just chock a block with looks like like volcanic rock. <laughs> yeah, just out of nowhere, and just heaps of them too. Just mountain full of rocks. Unbelievable. We're in the middle of the uh, high country and the terrain just seemed to keep going. It was sort of relentless, more so than I've ever done before. So in, in my truck, the canter, we're bog cog first gear, up and over, just up and over, just kept on going and going. Good little hill, this one. How you handle the hills, mate? Oh, yeah, it's been pretty scary for me. I don't really like hills, but yeah, it's a good trip. Good views on that once you're up the top. The steep and windy trails led the team to Howitt Plains Hut. First built in 1899, rebuilt several times over the years. Rumoured by some of our crew to be haunted. Oh, it opened on its own. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you jump real big. I went, oh, it opened on its own, there's a ghost in here. That's what I thought, I thought it's a ghost. This saying, have a look at the um, roof, it's got the slats down under the, um, the, iron. the iron. Shingles? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. So they're the original shingles from back when this was built, roughly 1900. Oh, really? Wow. Looks like they've been through a few uh, scorching fires. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's singed a bit, haven't they? So they're original, but the fireplace has changed a bit. And I think they said the doors changed a bit, but um, 
Yeah, that means the is still original. Pretty cool. Yeah, very good. Well over 100 years. We're looking for a camp, so we come across one and get a station. Nice flat open plains, creek to the back. One and get a station. Ah, what a magnificent spot that was. Must have been dozens and dozens of campsites along kilometres and kilometres of creek like this, so it was just beautiful. The history was amazing there. There was the old cemetery up on the hill. That was eerie. Yeah, the one and get a station cemetery was eerie, but it was interesting. It was well kept and, and it was a beautiful memorial. Then we went ahead and explore the old remains where actually the station was. They actually laid it out in rocks per room, per corridor, per veranda. And it burnt down in 1957, I'm pretty sure. And the good thing about it, they actually got the remains off the, the station and rebuilt a little hut, probably 150 metres away. Uh, this is the hut on one again station. So all the materials used for this hut were salvaged when the uh, existing, or the old, I should say, Homestead burnt down in 1957, so um, they recycled everything they could back in the day. So yeah, this one's this one's really cool. A couple of beds over here, fireplace in there for cooking. Get the alarm to swing in, hang the pots over the fire. Just imagine back in the day. It's very cool to come and check it out now. It's great that it's um, preserved for a store. Have a look. This morning we left Wongaratta Station, we're currently heading along the Wombat Track. Um, mate, there is some magic little creek crossings and uh, some of the hill climbs, bloody hell, they are like that. Incredible. No range, first gear all the way up, just chugging up nice and slow. They just go on and on forever, so no incredible country, different terrain today compared to what we've been doing most days. Um, yeah, really cool. Wombat range, it's first gear, low range, about two and a half to three thousand RPMs and just um, creeping up very slowly, it's bloody steep I tell you. It just feels so awkward in the, in the truck with no, um, nothing in front of you, like we said before, but uh, thank goodness a lot of grip. I would be um, stressing if this was a little bit slippery or wet, man it's bloody steep I tell you. So Jono, how'd your uh, canter go on that uh, bit of a hill climb up there mate? Mate, the other day when we did the other one when the um, hub wasn't um, engaging um, had too much pressure in the tyres, but a bit prepared for that one, mate. So pressures are good. Um, it just crawled up in the end, mate, but I had nothing else in the tank, I tell you. It's a hell of a climb up this last one we're doing. We're heading back down the mountain now. Um, I tell you what, the exhaust brake on this truck works fantastic. I actually find I've got to accelerate a bit rather than brake it all. Mate, mine's constantly on. Uh, it's just um, that bit reassuring just helps you pull up the truck, doesn't it? So yeah, working well. Yeah, no, fantastic. The outlook here, like, it's just spectacular, eh? Videos just don't do it justice. That's true, mate. And I guess you and I 
uh, sitting at a little bit higher, mate, so we you know, see a little bit more. It's uh, spectacular. Yeah, a little bit more of an advantage for us, that's for sure. Rick was saying Eagle Vale is tonight's camp, so we'll push on for there and hopefully get a fire going tonight and sit back and just relax after a long day, eh? Mate, that sounds bloody good. I've um, <laughs> just about had enough, mate, I tell you. Um, nah, it's been a good trip, mate. Um, yeah, look forward to camp tonight. After a long and dusty day on the tracks, the team wound their way down to the stunning Wanangatta River. where they settle in at Eaglevale Camping Ground for the night. Awesome day, hey? It was a great day, actually, yeah. yeah we did um, Wombat Spur Track and then went down Cynthia Range Hill. Okay. Um, and the views, just views for days. Could you tell me, have you done that Wombat one before? No, we'd never done that before, so we so didn't really know new. what to expect. Another good day on the tracks, mate. Good day, mate. Had a bit of everything, hey? It like did. a couple of creek crossings, a couple of... Yeah. Um, like really wombat holes at one stage, yeah. hey? So yeah, you really had to pick your line there. Yep. We weren't expecting them high um, hill climbs, were we, today? <laughs> I think he kept that a bit secret from us. He kept going and going and <laughs> going and going. Just didn't going. finish, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of ups, lots of downs. Uh, there was no carnage, but so it was good. No, mate. We um, made it through. No, it was good fun. So yep. your truck went good again? Unreal, mate. Yep. Loving it. Yep. yep. Just, just all around there, feel Going safe in 79's it. 79's retired, man. You can't hide, mate. Rowdy um, has been going last in the convoy. Um, he's going good. Hey, mate, what do you think of the track? Uh, yeah, pretty uh, gnarly for me. Yeah. But um, what we're saying, yeah, mate, we all had the nerves going. Uh, it's part of it, eh? Yeah. So you got dinner on. A couple of fish fingers, mate. Very nice, mate. So, Didn't know fish had fingers. But they don't now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Put the food in the pot. Oh. Thrust, thrust, thrust. <laughs> I uh, went to the zoo in New Zealand. It only had one dog. It was a shit zoo. Well, we're on our way to Dargo this morning. Um, and across, how's this for a fantastic little creek crossing? Rick's up in front of us in his 79. Looks uh, nice and rocky bottom. Absolutely beautiful. There is the option to take the bridge, which you can see off in the distance. But yeah, this way is more fun, so we thought we'd just cross the river. It's magnificent. Rick and Brooke from Touring Down Under said they heard about a little waterfall so we said yeah mate we're keen so we followed Rick and Brooke and mate it was actually um, a beautiful little waterfall. Harrison's Cup which is just outside of Dargo beautiful little waterfall there on actually it feeds into what we're where we are right now. Created when they used to have gold mines here they actually blasted the rock out. Harrison's Cut waterfall was so unexpected. We didn't know what we were going there for. Yeah, and to come across that waterfall coming through the, the cutting. Um, yeah, just amazing. So pretty. <laughs> That's what you get.
Oh, we finally made it to Dargo Pub. One of the most iconic pubs in Australia. That was fantastic. Tell you what, one thing I was looking forward to was getting to Dargo Pub. The first thing, we just couldn't wait to get a beer at the iconic pub, start of the high country, really in the guts of it. So, uh, mate, sensational. We had um, quite a few uh, cold beverages there and a bit of a feed. Cheers, mate. Cheers. 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 Well, well worth a, a look there. They've got everything from accommodation to cabins. Of course, we camped down on the river. Uh, just wandered up to our camp for the night, but had showers and toilets. It was good to freshen up there, but yeah, magic spot. Yeah, well, we just had gotten up and we were just looking in the creek and I had seen this little platypus and I said to Kev, am I seeing things or is that a platypus waving to us? Just to do it with a few mates, settle back after a good day in the hills, it's just, we just really enjoyed it. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our Victorian high country trip. Jono, what were some of your highlights, mate? Mate, I honestly say I thoroughly enjoyed it, like uh, the hills, getting up the top of those hills. Uh, it was a struggle sometimes. Some bloody steep climbs. Ab like absolutely, Rick, but it's something I reckon people would, um, it's that iconic high country yeah. scenery, and you just got to do it, mate. Oh, that's right. I reckon my highlights were the creeks, sleeping beside them creeks, you're here in the running water. Absolutely magic. Yeah, mate, you come around those, those bends, mate, and you just follow the rivers and the creeks going around, and the water's just crystal clear. Find a campsite wherever you can, and yeah. And there's a lot of campsites. Yeah, oh, 100%, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So, no, we've loved the Victorian high country, so hope you've enjoyed it. If you're liking what we're doing, hit the like, uh, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Welcome to Rowdy's recap of the day. And here we have Kimmy. How did you go today? Oh, I didn't really good. <laughs> yeah, how was your day? Oh, fantastic. Brooke, how's your foot? Yeah, not bad, thanks to Nurse Rita. I played nurse today, which is so much fun. Now we'll check out Kev and Rick. Hey, mate. I'm Rowdy. Cool. And what about Ian? Oh, Ian. Ian. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What about Ian? <laughs> oh, I'm oh, Ian. <laughs> and here's Rodney. There you go. What happened to your hat? Uh, blew off. How'd you like the track? What track? Oh, the one we did today. Wasn't that a road? <laughs> yeah, it was a road. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, a road, mate. Oh, hey, how are you going, Wendy? Yeah, good. How are you? And how'd you go today? Did I stored have... Jono's jocks and yeah. Yeah. And good. what do you reckon John's doing today? Look at him. Um, I reckon he's um, been in the bar too long, I reckon. Probably, by the look of his eyes. What? And here's me mate, Sheepy. And what'd you do today, Sheepy? Ah. And that's it from Dargo Pub. <laughs>